Yeah, okay, I'm back now. Obviously, here in Cayuga is Lakeland. Or Lakeland, I don't know, state we're in anymore. Anyway, we should head into Saratoga from uh, Cayuga. Or some similar to that, basically. Basically, I did in Liberty if you'd yesterday, or, well, about a week ago for me, who are we killing? Anyway, basically, there's a sign for off of on the hot two, out Interstate 290 headed to Lakeland. This is, you keep straight say, on 290 North, you head towards Chiffon. Basically, the name of this university is in Albany, so I'm basically making a connection here. That's all I got. Assume I can hit get to Saratoga. Also, in the description of Saratoga, it does after all say to basically Saratoga is northbound. It's a little bit north of uh, Cayuga, so that would be 290. I don't think there is 995 north anyway. I don't actually know why. Well, I've been here like two minutes. Also, I don't wasn't here when I started, so. How? Either way, yeah, it's, it's doing its own thing already. So we're just gonna get on the highway. We can't pay people anyway, and the director he stole all the people on board. So yeah, MCI coach is uh, ready, ready. Get, mm, it's gonna return on, hopefully. Yeah, it's ready, ready to go. Also, I can't pick people up anyway. Kneeling should be automatic, right? Okay. Good. Reverse. Parking brake. You off. Yep. Yep. Pretty sure I'm missing something here. Nope. Wasn't missing anything. It's an accelerator, basically. Is this still trying to say skidding? Drive. There you go. That's how buses are supposed to pull out of things like this. Normally, just, yeah, just try and drive on the curb and say that's good enough. Nobody? Soto County? Useless. They'd be listening for big buses to come out of this thing. Yeah, I just kind of think it's good to walk in front of everybody. Hope not to get hit, essentially. Let's drop N1 service to Saratoga County. Don't know where I got the number N1 from, but yeah, it works. I couldn't put X on here. That's that's why. You know, I only do X on this on this bus, so let's go to N1. It can go dirty, right? Yeah, it can't. At least doing trying to do dirty. Yeah, instead of turning on to I yeah. Yeah, actually, I guess I-290 South. Basically, like all the other buses do, the normal buses. The place I forgot there's a red light. Of course, as I slow down, it would, it would change, wouldn't it? Say, turning on the normal highway, like the 14, or... I guess that's actually 150, I'm thinking of. I don't know why I thought 14. 14 takes a long way. I might take the 14 on the highway, but, uh... Throughout stuff doesn't. Let me stand. Pretty sure it does say on the sign over here, right? Sign is all the way back here. Yeah, all on the road, on the signs. This way to Chiffant. Now I have the zero cloud to actually get Chiffant, so I'm gonna take a wild guess say we just need to head towards Southwest Plaza. That's what I'm gonna go with. And you're gonna wanna move. I 
There it is. Yes, needs to about here. It's a straight road to the end of the line, so. Some of are slower on this road than they are at the actual normal highway. It's still going, what do you know? And... Yeah, next up is Saratoga. Actually, I can drive off road. Yeah, that works. We start talking next. And the air is going to keep doing that for the rest of the time. Yeah, it's still going somewhere, though. No, it's not. It's at 1210. Right back. No dogs? Okay, we're back. Sitting on the sideline, well, not really side, just all the way at the end of Saratoga. Basically, we're going to assume this is the way you'd get into uh, in this, into the city from Cayuga. And assume the same road connects Southwest Plaza to, uh, well, the same road six, basically everything all over the city, basically. I'll say New York and the other way. I don't know where Cayuga is on this map, but I'm assuming New York is one place, Cayuga is another place. Somehow they're going to connect via this one route. Just going to assume that, or, or maybe there's a highway somewhere else. Just gonna buy what we got right now. But anyway, sit on the side of the road. All I can do is be hit down south southwest. That's just drill up, so we're good. I think it decides to get in the bus lane when you see a bus. So I don't really need to worry about the gas, just let the gravity drive the vehicle. Yes, dear. Bad thing here is this bus now has to go up a giant hill. What in my head I thought? Oh, it's been tried. Let's sit down. Good. Yes, it's not like it. Nah, it's it's doing something. Come on. This bus is not like hills, like at all. I see the 14 too. That was right. The next stop will be Southwest Plaza. Now this must work. Well, these indoor ones work. 14's on its way. And I have like a minute till I gotta worry about. I think it's like 12.30. Bad thing is, I just thought about this. This bus now has to go up a giant, well, not a giant, a tiny little road to the mountains, and probably not fall off the road either. Be a fun day. Yeah, there's one person here. I assume it's going to be like a limited service thing too. 
It's only some of those bigger stops. There's the Aldi. Good? Nope. Not likely to the head. It's just not like me to huh? Good. Yeah, probably makes sense now why uh, they use mostly Gilligs in this town. Not giant coaches. And again, it still does feel like dark to think about it. They have Gill all Gilligs and very few MCI coaches. I wonder how long it's I got the bus to get over here, by the way. I'm going to need a backup to go up the hill, but mostly for, uh, Say convenient reasons, so in case I fly through, someone can take over my route. Eh, okay, that's good enough. The next stop will be Highland Avenue at Bent Low. Let's go with that. Yeah, people got people waiting on this road gotta hate sitting here. So many sit here waiting for the bus to come out. Next up, be Holland Avenue Bent Low. We don't stop here for obvious reasons. Mostly because it would make me have to pull over. Just go across three more lanes. And that's, cause for, that's more of a 14's job in this case. Right, yeah. So I have like this stop, Aldi, and then uh, West Point Jackson. Really? Yeah, one day I gotta figure out why that actually happened for this thing. One day I'm gonna figure that out. I'm never gonna fix it. Don't know how to fix it. It's been like this since the beginning, so. Yeah, I'm gonna figure out why that actually happens. I'll surprise stop taking this thing on roads that are like this. Where the bus now is shivering. I'm just gonna say that's what it is. I'm just gonna, we're gonna assume that's what it is. So the bus is shivering. What it can be shivering for? Whether it's nervous gonna fall off the road? It can't be cold, it's made of metal, it's always cold. I think I have one guy that's on this bus somewhere. With all those, uh, like every every time it slows down, it's like every light pops on. Like it used to be, you know, somebody that's not every light will pop on, it's keep going all over and over again, like it was breaking down or something. Now it just makes a sound like it, like it's happening. Luckily, it's not actually breaking down. Not like the kneeling sim did a few days ago. Oh, great, looking this way. Okay, good. Okay. I have no visual, and this bus is giant. He's turning onto a little suburban street, and yeah, I don't seem to care. I 
You know me? Howland Avenue at Benton Low. Can they get on from here? Thank you. Are both 14s back here? Am I going to be able to see the screen? Okay, there's a 14 somewhere over here. And one of them was behind me. Did the 701. So the hybrid ones are or the 700s, and the other ones are uh, probably diesel powered. Right? Scream. Be really hates me. Oh, this is BRT actually. Yeah, so BRT somewhere up here, and then higher powers behind me. Still running. The next stop will be Ollie. Ollie. Think should be a turn like that, and that's kind of rude. Well, there it is. You know, now you need to just put it on a highway, then it actually will be like dark. The only time you're gonna see those two buses nearby each other, unless you're at the garage. Because I do not like cobblestone. Welcome aboard! You okay with transit money? Your pigs are fair on these buses? It's not like cobblestone. At all. Next stop, West Point Jackson. The next stop will be West Point Avenue at Jackson. Welcome to the city of Albany. We actually slipped out to a county, so. Now I gotta do a survive. Just gonna try 35. I'm just gonna ruin this bus is a bad idea. Tell me I'm not gonna do it. Okay. You know, as much as you're driving downhill in a normal bus, much is much easier. In the driver's way, you're in the driver's way, man. Sit in my own seat so I can while I drive. Sit in my seat while I drive. Sounds so much more efficient. In a weird, not really way. Okay, let me slow down. Cobblestone full speed. She never any problem with the uh, 
whatever you want to call the reflexes to the bus. He says that it hits every bit of that as hard as possible. And what is what happens next? I say they ain't getting on this bus because they ain't actually sure know where the bus comes here. Route N1, Cayuga Transit. I've said that once a day. Now it goes into Cayuga. Okay, it looks like no one wants to let the bus out, and school bus is going to be that kind of a dick today, huh? You gonna go? You gonna go? You gonna go? There you go. Not you. Not you. No. Proper. Yeah. Yeah, definitely proper. I've, I've seen a driver part drive like this. I mean, there wasn't this close to a pole, but... I mean, it was on a sidewalk, purely because it was kind of in my way. Not too small fit this kind of bus. It sense not to walk to a bus. Come on. I am currently having a seizure. Don't know how the hell that's happening. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna do this. Nope. Nope, we're not gonna do this. Okay, we're gonna call the executive decision in here. Okay, it actually it was just that one spot. The bus was having a small seizure. The next stop will be Main Street at Jackson. I don't know how a bus has a seizure, but it was having a mild, a mildly small seizure. This is how that's called. Good. Fun. Of course, the love is just hitting my hitting me basically. I don't see why these kind of buses don't ride on these, on these sort of streets. A lot of stopping, and most people would not want to be sitting around that long on these. Especially if not, but not the passenger. One bus. All I made it through there. Main Street of Jackson. Alright, like ten bucks just gonna let this bus go around the corner again. Next up. 
The next stop will be Main Street at College. Okay, it's walking distance. In a bus at least about 10 gallon go in walking distance. Can we get off here? Is that a Bentley dealership? The next stop will be Chalfont Park East. Is that a Bentley dealership? At a college? I think that probably makes sense. Someone's gonna buy the Bentleys. Professors can afford them. Don't ask how. Everybody? Nope. Okay, I cannot see to the side of me. Kathan Park East. This stop. Next stop. The next and final stop will be Chalfont University in Albany. Stop. Thank you for riding with Saratoga Transit. Gotta turn to whoop speed there. Okay. Thank Ryan Kanta from KV City to where the heck we are now. Wait, Albany. Albany. That'd be a long ride. About two hours I'm gonna say with I'll say that with jerk with New York, so. I could be right. Maybe not. Don't know. Get out. See how long it takes the other one to get up here. It is still behind me somewhere, so. Oh. It's on Main Street. Either way, Route 14 in the N1 currently stand as the uh, roads up a little. Well, routes to Albany, as far as I was concerned. As long as I can figure out how 290 even slightly connects to, uh. I want to say Meadow? I think that's what that street was. I don't remember. Yeah, assuming they eventually that street, that street connects to the two, route Interstate 290 and whatever interstate it is out of New York. Eventually, it's got something, something connects to somewhere that eventually can connect to there, as I'm assuming, so. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, route N1. Long if, uh, what's it? I 8. Two express routes connecting from Liberty and Cayuga. Grand Fay is too far. That vein down connected to Cayuga and you then catch this get all we are here. Yeah, the connecting routes. They kind of work in theory. And again, that theory is really, really, really loose. So we're gonna go along with that. At least for now. Yeah, let's have all. You know what we this time? Healing works? Yeah, please. Can I just do this? Would it work with company one shot? Probably not. The next stop will be Chalfont University. There you go. And go. Yeah, please. Yeah, choice stuff. Of course it didn't. 